G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today I'm going to follow up on the Cobra Motor Review or the comparison because a few people asked a few questions which I'm going to be more than happy to try and answer. First of all people said what about the Sunny Sky 2204 2300? Well here's one. I'm going to put it on here. We're going to compare it to the Cobra and the other one of course was the Sunny Sky 2207 2700 kV. Now this very high kV rating and also having much larger magnets should produce more power than the Cobra. So we'll do a bit of a head to head, we'll do some comparisons and see which is going to be the most efficient and which is going to be the most powerful. I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about efficiency, I'm not going to do the hover test because I just want this to be a relatively quick video just to see maximum power. I'm only going to use the Gemfan 5.4 Bullnose again to keep the video nice and short. However another question that a lot of people asked was what effect does the ESC have on these motors. Will using a higher current ESC give me more performance? Well, I've been using the little RC Timer 20 amp ESC with BL Heli, if I can move it around here. These tiny little 20 amp, the same as the DYS I think, 20 amp ESCs. I've been using those for these tests because these motors yeah, don't usually draw 20 amps, so they're a pretty safe bet. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to run up the Cobra with this little ESC, then for the rest of the tests I'm going to switch to a 30 amp. So we'll get a comparison between running a 20 amp and a 30 amp ESC. But first of all, we'll do it with the 20 amp. So here we go, 20 amp ESC, three cells, batteries charged to about 12.28 volts. Let's see what sort of power we get out of this baby. Okay, now we have the 30 amp ESC on board. That's the only change I've made. So as I say, this little 20 amp one has been replaced with the 30 amp one which is quite a bit bigger. Let's see if it makes any difference to the amount of power we get out of this motor and prop combination. Sorry about the fact that the, the tear keeps changing, it's because the cables are not quite slack. And it's time for four cells on the same ESC. Let's see what we get out of this. Excellent. Right. So let's change motors and see what happens. Time to put on the Sunny Sky 2204-2300. Okay, here we go. Sunny Sky 2204-2300 motor. And let's see what we get out of this on three cells. And Sunny Sky 2203, 2204, 2300 on four cells. All right, Sunny Sky 2207. Running on three cells, um, let's see how we go. Hold this pretty strongly, I think. Pretty impressive. And Sunny Sky 2207, 2700 kV running on four cells. Let's see if this will take off. Radio. Let's see how much these motors weigh. It's always important. Now let's start with the Sunny Sky 2204. I haven't put the prop nuts on because they do vary a bit. Uh, we've got 21 grams for the Sunny Sky 2204. The Cobra is 25 grams. Maybe take a bit off because I've got a bit of heat shrink on here. You can see there's a little bit of heat shrink on there. It'll only be a gram or so. So 24 grams. And it, but it does have longer wires, you'll notice. So that obviously adds to the weight as well. So pretty similar. Now the Sunny Sky 2207, that's obviously a bit of a beast. It weighs in at 34 grams. So it's more than 50% heavier, I think. Um, and does it produce 50% more power? Well, there's some really interesting stuff in those tests. I've got to say, I mean, I'm quite I'm astounded. The Comparison between the 20 amp and the 30 amp ESC, that was a bit of an eye opener because they were both exactly the same configuration, BL Halley software, um, same settings, and yet we lost, when we went to the 30 amp ESC, we lost 50 grams of thrust and we lost 12 watts of power. Hmm, that's really, really interesting. Uh, perhaps it's because the FETs in the 
30 amp ESC are rated to 6S, so they'll probably have a slightly higher on resistance. Maybe that did it, maybe it's timing, who knows. If I had the time, I'd do a video on this and I'd, I'd look into it. Why did we lose a bit of power when we were switched to a higher current ESC? But interesting to note that I don't think during any of those tests, our motors drew more than 20 amps. So we could use the 20 amp ESCs and these figures would probably be improved on over the ones I'm just gonna go through now. Because when we look at these motors, there's obviously three different motors, three different sets of results. Now, the Cobra, which I kind of use as the benchmark, was giving us 444 grams roughly and 135 watts on three cells, which is very credible, very respectable. And that turns into 3.28 grams of thrust per watt of power, which is a pretty good average uh, performance in terms of efficiency. On four cells, the power bumped up, as you'd expect, and we got um, 662 grams. Now that's 50, nearly 50% more power for 30% more voltage. That's good. Uh, it was doing, it was sucking 234 watts to give us that 662 grams of thrust, which means the efficiency had dropped to 2.8 grams per watt. So quite a significant drop in performance between three and four cells. Now, if we go to the Sunny Sky 2204, this surprised me actually, it surprised me. The 2204, that was giving me 429 grams, nearly 430 grams of thrust. That's only 14, 15 grams less than the Cobra. Woo, that's a surprise, isn't it? Just to me. Um, it was only, and it was only consuming 122 watts to deliver that much power. So its performance is right up there. It's the top performer in terms of efficiency at 3.8 grams of thrust per watt. That's, you know, that's 0.5 grams per watt higher than the Cobra. It's quite a significant amount. When we went to four cells, we're getting 600 grams of thrust at 206 watts. So the efficiency was dropping off. We're down to 2.9 grams per watt, but it's still better than the Cobra. So your, your Sunny Sky 2204 2300 motor is going to outperform your Cobra in terms of the efficiency, your flight times for the same flying style. Now, the Sunny Sky 2207, that was the motor I wanted to see, and it didn't disappoint in terms of thrust. On three cells, we were getting an incredible 608 grams of thrust, but we were drawing 216 watts, and that's quite a bit of power. The efficiency was quite low. It was only 2.8 grams per watt. That's the same as the Cobra on four cells. And of course, when we went to four cells on the Sunny Sky 2207, the arse really fell out of its efficiency. It's really crap. But we got 860 grams of thrust, but it cost us 380 watts of power, which means 2.2 grams per watt. That's really, really bad. That thing's going to suck your batteries dry, but it's going to give you eye-popping performance. Now, of course, I'd like to compare that to the Cobra 2206, but I don't have one here. Um, and also, that's a 2700 kV motor. So on the same prop, this Sunny Sky should actually deliver more power because it's trying to turn faster. So the prop will load it up more than, for example, a 1900 kV Cobra 2206. Hmm. So many things to look at, but that's really interesting. Very, so basically, if you want to get reasonably good performance with the longest possible flight times, get a Cobra, oh, sorry, get a Sunny Sky, not a Cobra, get a Sunny Sky 2204, 2300. They will give you nice long flight times because of that efficiency, especially on three cells. If you want maximum pop for a small motor, and you want reasonable efficiency, then the Cobra works out pretty good. But if you just want, you know, eye-boggling performance, then, God, that Sunny Sky motor, they're pretty cheap. And man, they do churn out the watts. That's pretty damn impressive. I've got the 2100 kV, kV versions on my MXP230 with six inch props, and it really rockets. So in the top end build, I might use the Sunny Sky 2207-2700s on the MXP with five inch props. Uh, because that will just be absolutely gobsmacking. What do we got there? Um, 860 grams times four. I have a calculator for that because I'm old and my brain doesn't work very well. So what have we got? Eight, eight, six, zero times four. You've probably all worked out in your heads already. Three and a half, almost three and a half kilograms of thrust on something that's going to weigh in at about 650 grams. <laughs> what does that work out at? Five to one, five to one power to weight ratio. <laughs> that's pretty damn impressive. Um, and remember, this wasn't on a fully charged battery with four cells. That was, I, uh, as I always do, I used a partially charged battery. So that's what it's going to be like after a minute or two of flying. Imagine what it's like first pop out of the gate. Woohoo! So there you go. Hope you found that interesting. If you've got comments, questions, whatever, then please leave them in the space provided by YouTube for the purpose of. And now, because we've got nine days left, I'm going straight back to the bench to give you some more videos before the end of the month. Bye for now.